it was I was like, finally, yeah. here's the here's that moment that you read about with actors and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I was at um, my cousin came into L.A. when I was day two out of five waiting for for this role. I couldn't move. She was like, you got to get out of the house. We just you got to do something. And um, went to the ATM and realized that rent hit in two days. There was uh, 16 or 1800 that was all going to go to that, and that was 300 bucks, and there was no more checks. And, and uh, it was definitely that moment where you're like, oh, wow, there's the phone call at the end of this. But um, took the $100 out, and uh, we kept it moving, fingers crossed. And here we are. Every tab on my laptop was open to real estate classes in the greater Los Angeles So that was area. plan B. You were going to oh, sell I, some houses? Yeah. You know, I mean, acting, I was lucky enough to be able to sustain myself for the two years before this um, with some recurring guest stars and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the whole big conversation of what are you going to do, do was always there. And then, of course, you get the show and everyone's like, we knew it. <laughs> You were never as what you're supposed to be. But yeah, so uh, it was nice to have that moment because I always read about it and I was like, ah, I haven't gotten there yet. Right. And then you want to. So um, thank God it worked out. Does that help you sort of maneuver this newfound status that you have? I'm sure that's like when you go from zero to 60 in that way, does remembering kind of where you started help you sort of try to find some balance? Of course, of course. I mean, the, the biggest thing for me actually recently, I just... Uh, I, I took my dad's car and drove it to New York for work because he got shoulder surgery, so he was out for a bit. So I was like, let me have a car in New York. Maybe I'll come back and forth. And being stuck in traffic on the way to a job, I was like, this was my whole life before you drive four hours for an audition or you drive all this. And I was like, just those little things that kind of remind you and, and keep you in that um, help a lot. And, it, and it's kind of like a... I don't know, it's like therapeutic and, and I, I really enjoy it because it does get a little crazy. Thank God we work enough that, you know, you can't really get lost in it, right. but um, you definitely see how it's possible. And, um, but I don't know, I, I think I'm keeping my head above it. At the end of the day, I'm a realist and I know that this could go away tomorrow and everyone's, oh, you'll be fine for 20 years. And I'm like, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Like Stop. knock on wood, please, 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 please don't say that. But um, but yeah, so we got to trust the process, and I'm just trying to you know give it all as much as I can. Yeah.